So I'm in Perth again and it's Thursday, March 9th, 2017. That's today's local newspaper, the West Australian. And uh, it's just going on uh, 18.30 here, which is 11 minutes before the sunset. And uh, if we just have a look at the latitude and longitude, there it is again. I'm down at my favorite location for filming the sunset, which is the corner of Princess Street and Avonmore Terrace. And uh, the reason this is a great location is because Princess Street runs directly east-west. So as we go down the hill there towards the ocean, we're looking exactly 270 degrees. Now, if you refer back to my other videos taken in October and December, you'll remember the sun was a lot further south, so it was a lot further to the left of its current position. Because we're only 11 days to the equinox, the sun is now moving closer to due west. And on March 20th, when the sun sets, it's going to be directly in line with that road. And that's going to happen all over the earth, from the bottom of uh, South America to uh, Anchorage in Alaska. We're going to see the sun setting at 270 degrees all over the earth. So if you're researching this for yourself, take the time on that day just to go out and measure the angle of the sunset yourself. It's a real observation in the real world. And then think about what shape the earth must be to produce the same angle of the sunset all over the earth on the same day. However you look at it, it's not going to work on a flat earth. So forget about CGI videos, forget about long-winded explanations, just go outside and observe reality with your own eyes because the equinox uh, proves the earth is not flat. And there it is, 11 days before the equinox. In 11 days time, that sun will be directly 270 degrees when it sets. So anyone doing their own research into the uh, sunset angles on the equinox, they might find what uh, could be considered an anomaly at very high latitudes. And that's because the sun does not appear to be setting at exactly 270 degrees at those high latitudes. Now, the reason for that is because the sunset is taken from when the top of the sun disappears below the horizon. So there's just a few minutes from when the center of the sun passes the horizon until the top of the sun passes the horizon. And at high latitudes, the sun is not moving vertically downwards. If we have a look at Stellarium, and I've got a location right at uh, zero latitude. So we're right at the equator. Now, as we move the time you'll see that the Sun is moving vertically downwards it's moving at 90 degrees to the horizon however when we go to a latitude that is much higher than that it won't be moving vertically down it'll be slewing across the horizon as it's setting so now we're looking at a uh, north latitude of 60 degrees and uh, you'll see that when the sun is setting on the equinox it's not moving directly down. See how it's arcing across the sky as it's setting? And unfortunately they've got that bush right in the way but you can see that it's not moving vertically downwards as it was on the equator. So that by the time the centre of the sun hits the horizon it will be at an angle of 270 degrees but because the sunset is measured from when the top of the sun disappears it's actually moving just a little bit further past 270 degrees so it's not really an anomaly it's just the way the sun is moving which actually confirms the uh, the shape of the earth as a globe and the last part again for anyone who doesn't really understand why the equinox proves the earth is not flat I strongly recommend you watch this uh, video by Sly Sparkane because it goes through an analysis of sun angles taken from various parts on the Earth on the last equinox in September and uh, it shows how those angles simply cannot be produced on any flat Earth and how it can only be produced on a globe. So I uh, strongly recommend watching this video and I'll link to it in, uh, in my description.